tree rings are unlocking new information about earthquakes that rocked the Pacific Northwest more than a thousand years ago. And King 5's Erica Zuko is here now with those new discoveries tonight. Erica. Madison and Julie, we all know about the risks of what's called the big one, but the research underway in these photos looked at something different. The potential for one earthquake right after another or multiple faults rupturing together in the area of the Seattle and Saddle Mountain faults. Devastating double earthquakes in Turkey and Syria this year showed the power of a one two punch. New research in Washington led by the University of Arizona shows that may have happened in western Washington 1100 years ago or earthquakes may have happened at the same time on the Seattle and Saddle Mountain faults. Scientists studied patterns in tree rings collected across the Puget Lowlands. We were able to match the patterns in trees across the six sites involved that were where we had trees killed by earthquake activity. UW's Harold Tobin of the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network says this is important because if it happened before, it could happen again. There's no doubt that now people have to consider in the planning scenarios the maybe more the greater likelihood of a larger earthquake up to 7.8. That's actually quite a bit different, three times bigger, two to three times bigger than a, a, a 7.5. Um, so that's real, and we have to think about that in our planning. The Seismic Network says the overall risk of this type of event remains rare, so they say prepare, don't despair. Secure items in your home, pack an emergency bag, and sign up for alerts. Back to you.